So, um, Mark, one of, this is going to be one of these patients comes in, 38-year-old woman. Her gynecologist noted some neck fullness, performed labs, and the thyroid function labs were normal, and did an ultrasound. And the ultrasound showed a 2.3 centimeter left thyroid nodule. An FNA was done, and it showed classical type papillary thyroid carcinoma. And so with this, when would you be thinking a lobectomy versus a total thyroidectomy? Well, I think in this case, um, Dr. McGill, so look, looking at the ultrasound, it doesn't look like this is a patient who's going to have significant posterior um, extra thoracal extension, although this is just one shot here. Um, of course, it is a little bit close to the anterior you know, margin of the strap, and there could be some, you know, microscopic um, abutment of the strap muscle there. But so in terms of extra throttle extension, I think um, this case would be perfectly appropriate for a lobectomy. Um, I think we would want to look at lymph node metastasis. Uh, obviously, if we had macroscopic lymph node metastasis that were were evident on, on ultrasound and obvious um, in the central compartment or, of course, the lateral neck, most of those patients um, are going to undergo a total thyroidectomy. And then I think the other thing that that um, that I didn't mention in the talk is, is really looking at the contralateral lobe. I think, you know, we have specific criteria for TIRADS and ATA status for when to biopsy thyroid nodules, but I think um, it changes a little bit when you're dealing already dealing with the cancer on one side, because then you're trying to really determine um, if you can watch the other side of active surveillance of the contralateral side is going to be appropriate long term. And we may have a little bit of a lower threshold to biopsy, you know, contralateral nodules in that case, if we know we're already going to be doing a thyroid lobectomy, just to rule out, you know, um, a cancer in the contralateral um, side, if there is a nodule over there. Um, and if there is a Bethesda three or four nodule, then, you know, that brings um, into um, uh, question the possibility of molecular testing. Uh, in, in patient discussion, you know, sometimes, you know, patients um, are going to want to be aggressive about trying to preserve that thyroid lobe, even if they have a indeterminate thyroid nodule on the other side. And sometimes patients are going to want to take the whole, whole queen down. So those are some of the considerations. Perfect. Thank you.